Well, greetings. So in this uh, video, I will be doing another tutorial on using GS Smart Control for testing your drive. And this will also be kind of an explanation on why. I just picked up a couple of hard drives off of Craigslist. They were affordable for the capacity that they are. And before I put them into production, before I use them, I highly recommend anyone buying not only used but new drives to always do an extended smart test on them. Get the logs going so that you know, okay, it started out as healthy. At this point, something went wrong. And at this other point, something went wrong even more or whatever. So let's get to it. So GS Smart Control is going to be the GUI app that I'm going to be using in this video today. I will be doing another video on how to use GNOME's disk utility to do this as well. Also a shout out to uh, Cherry North America for sending me the replacement parts for uh, my Cherry keyboard. I really, really do appreciate it. So getting back to this, the new drive is this HG storage drive. So I'm going to double click. Let's take a look at the information and the stats. So it's been on for about 6,000 hours. Uh, reallocation events are zero. Current pending sec sector count is zero. Offline correctable is zero. So this drive, just on a glance, if you look at this, looks good. And this is one of the things that you also want to check, especially if it's a used drive. But now we're going to go into self test because I want to do an extended test. So I am going to do this and holy Toledo, Batman, it's going to take nine hours and 21 minutes. It's a four terabyte drive. So yeah, it kind of makes sense. So well, it's doing this. I am going to mute my mute my mic and just let this go. Have fun. I will see you when it's done.
Well, that completed. So, as you can see, the test completed with no errors whatsoever. So, this was a very, very successful smart test. And this is how you use GS Smart Control to test your drives. And a few recommendations, especially doing an extended test with a new drive and especially, especially doing an extended or a conveyance test on a used drive like the one that I have. This one is good to put in production. With this, I hope this you found this useful. Like, share, subscribe, all that jam. Uh, if you want to help me out with this channel, there's uh, Donato links and an Amazon wish list where you can help me get parts to make more videos and better content. And with that, until next time, bye bye